All right, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's uh, it's Tuesday morning, and me and Zach are over here at this job. Uh, we're kind of having to go slow road a little bit to justify the money, uh, because uh, what they want us to do is not hard or nothing. So, uh, but I got to get a certain amount of money. So, uh, Zach's getting started on the bushes. I already got the tools to the back back there. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a clearing, uh, cut out all this stuff, all this stuff that's growing uh <clears throat> and all that so i got some stuff i want to talk about and i'm going to show you guys comments that uh that i got yesterday about i don't know um well it's about one of the guys coming to comments uh saying and well he's a hater anyway you know uh i think it's it's a little ron perlman i think his name I think he calls himself Big Ron Perlman, but we know that that usually means it's a little Ron. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, I want to make sure that uh, me and Zach got enough work to where we can uh, make make uh, enough money to where he can get a good little bit of money. Because he may not work the rest of the week. It's supposed to rain more. So... Uh, I'm gonna get video of me uh, doing a little clearing down here. It's, it's just a little row. Uh, we're gonna cut all that crap down and drag it to, to drag it through the woods. It's behind the fence, so it's kind of thing I really like doing uh, because I don't have to worry about a big cleanup. See, cleaning up and all is the hardest thing when it comes to bushes and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't like cleaning up if I don't have to. You know, of course, you know, you have to clean up because that's just. Uh, that's just how, how i mean that's part of the job okay guys so i'm over here at uh one of the customers houses uh y'all been over here before uh, I'm, I'm behind their fence and i'm going to remove all of this uh it's about i don't know about 10 foot wide probably 25 foot long 20 foot long something like that we're just gonna cut all this down and throw it down in this gully down here well i am uh i just spilled the whole tank of fuel out of the damn hedge trimmer uh, i didn't put the cap on so uh yeah i'm gonna get so i'm gonna use a 201t my chainsaw and i'm just gonna come in here and i'm just gonna cut off all this stuff uh the big stuff and then what we'll do is i'll grab the uh well these right here and uh get all the the briars and brush and then we're gonna blow everything now this pole right here where they had the fence fixed uh so that's what that, that's that's one of the jobs over here zach is on the front bushes uh this is probably gonna be we'll probably be over here i don't know couple of hours you know uh with everything once that gets done in the front then this will go back back here will go pretty fast i've been on had all this stuff right here cut because uh the chainsaw my my 201 t is going to cut the the privet and everything you know, the bigger stuff you know it'd be cool if you could just be cool what would be really cool is cut all this stuff off and bring a lawnmower back here but there's really not a way to get one back here y'all so y'all see where we at man me and Zach done knocked this piece knock this little hill out and in pretty good time all this over here is going to be easy we got the hardest part i would like to start with the hard stuff man <laughs> Alright y'all, uh, so 
Uh, me and the Zach Attack got it done today. Uh, we did about, uh, well, we did $400, you know. Not bad. Uh, not bad at all, really, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. We did good, man, really. He did good today, so. It's all good. Cool, thanks, man. All right. There he is, y'all, the Zach attack. There he is. Back again. Winter time. Winter time work. Winter time work. Well, it wasn't that bad today, really, man. No. I don't think it was that bad. Like in my new X mark. I'd rather be doing. I'd rather be doing uh, um, that kind of shit in the in, in the winter time. Yeah. Man, you. I wouldn't hopping even want to do that, that in the summertime, dude. Yeah, hopping up and down the hill. Man, spiders and all kind of oh, yeah. farmers and shit living in that hill. In the summertime. And then leaf blowing on that? Well, you wouldn't have to leaf blowing. So, yeah. I wouldn't have wanted to cut all that previous. That shit would have been growing all up over the fence. Yeah. He, he, he liked that, though. I bet. we. I thought it looked pretty good, good, man. Yeah. You know, it went from... For sure. I didn't want to blow it, though. I was like, man, I don't want to blow no more leaves. Mm. Fuck that. Right. <laughs> you know? Well, well, I mean, there's no car. point in blowing it. For what? I thought... I, you know, first I was going to blow it. I said, but what's the point in blowing it? It's in the woods. It is. It's going to be... Covered it's gonna be covered with leaves, you know. It'll be, you know, uh, no. covered with leaves in no time. So YouTube misses me. They do. Oh yeah. I don't know, man. I've been, get, I've been getting the show. same amount of views, dude. That's the best thing on your show, you dude. About? I've been getting the same amount of views man. since before, uh, since, since since you was gone and back and mm. gone. I get the same amount of views, man. You made me feel ain't none of y'all, ain't none of y'all star. Ray's the only star out he here, is. man. Right about that. I mean, I, I mean, I get the same views, the same damn folks. Well, people man. do comment on the Budweiser though. Yeah, they, they uh, comment more on the Budweiser than they yeah. than me, I guess because I don't see. One guy, one guy was was uh, was wanting me to, you know, saying I needed to man up, give and let Bo have run half the business. Yeah, I, I saw that. You saw that? Ridiculous, dude. That's, he, what, what, the he, must, he must be related to Bo. I mean, he he's worse typing. off than Bo. Bo's typing. Whoever said that shit, he's worse off than Bo. Gotta be. I mean, on uh, they are pretty entertaining. They are. Yeah, sometimes they are. I guess you know. I, I like wish you Google would push them a little bit more for me. I like the ones I'm in. You know, yeah, I'm talking the ones I'm in. I know, right? Let me see. I like the ones I'm in. You're in all of them. I know, man. <laughs> Straight damn gangster out here doing this shit, man. Trying to figure it out. Trying you to be having, You be driving up and down the road the wrong way. Yeah, you know, all I'm that shit, man. That's a trick for photography. Be like, he's going the wrong way. I saw McDonald's. Yeah. He's supposed to be coming to get me. That was a straight get y'all 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 yeah. saw that shit, man. No. All right, get your gas, man. I'm gonna finish up Appreciate the video. Yep. Good job, Dave, buddy. Uh, yeah, man, I'm a glove, man. I need it. I need wow. it. Need right it. Need it. All right, y'all. So we got uh we got done, and uh, she's actually a different person, you know, when he when when he is uh on his A game. So uh, I mean, you know, it is what it is. He did good, and we did good. So there's some guy coming in the comments. Uh, what's that dude's name, man? Let me give him. Let me give him a shout out. Yeah, his name is uh, Little Ron Perlman or something like that. He telling me, you know, that I need to, you know, he telling me what I need to do, you know, as far as uh, running the business. And he says, leave all the mowing up to him, him and him and his cub cadets, what he said. <laughs> That's just funny, man. But the guy, that Perlman guy, 
little, little Ron Perlman. That's his name, I think. Little Ron Perlman. He's telling me that I'm wasting my money and, and everything on the on the Xmart mowers. That he can do uh that I'm wasting my money fixing them and everything and I need to get rid of all them old machines and you know sir, you know, saying things that shows he's obviously not a G. I mean it just it's it's crazy how, you know, these dummies come in the comments showing how dumb they are. He he went on to say, you know, that I'm you know, wasting my money and uh, but what money have I wasted? Does he think that the money I spent on this mower deck is a lot of money? Is that what he thinks? Because he's used to buying the mowers uh, that, you know, spend 2500 he got a brand new one but he's talking about how somebody's wasting money and and uh you know how i'm wa wasting money putting the money in all these old mowers i got what old mowers do i have I i'm just curious man you know don't come on here and make comments of, and and say things and uh and them obviously be ignorant statements and think that it makes you look good. It makes you look ignorant as hell. What old mowers do I have? I got a 2019 uh, Xmart Laser Z X Series. I got a 2020 model Skag uh, Turf Tiger 2. I got a 2014 Laser Z X Series uh, with the uh, EFI engine on it. And that's the one I did the deck on. And I got a, a 2006 Ferris mower that diesel, diesel, cat diesel, that looks like it's been kept in a freaking museum the whole its whole life with four or 500, 600 hours on it. So what old machines are you talking about? I don't know. You not, might need to look on your trailer and look at them old raggedy ass Cub Cadets you've got. If you think spending uh, 250 for the baffles and another 150 for uh, pulling in a belt, if you think that's a lot of money, you are you just a broke fuck. I don't know what to say. You just you, you ain't making no money. That ain't no money, man, to somebody like me, man. You ain't, I, I hate to say you know say it like that, man. But you, you you really ain't in the same league as Ray Ray, man. I mean, dude, the mere fact that you think that you are balling tells me that you ain't. You just a broke dude that scared to spend his money on top quality equipment, you know. I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with a Cub Cadet mower. I don't have none, though. And I ain't saying that you can't make money with them. Uh, I don't make money with no mowers like that. Uh, I could, but I don't. I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with having one, but don't come in the comments on a straight G's channel. Trying to trying to act like you know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> oh, I ain't mad either, man. I ain't mad. I just don't think you know nothing, and you know, so little little Ron, little Ron wants to be a baller, y'all, but little Ron is just a is just a wannabe. You know, he just can't stand it. You know, I love it, but he can't stand it. That he's out there running around with $2,500 lawnmowers thinking he's going to compete with somebody that's got a $15,000 lawnmower or two or three or four. <laughs> he's out there running Rayobi weed eaters thinking he's going to compete with somebody that's running steel weed eaters. 
Well, you can make your money with your Rayobi weed eaters and your and your Cub Cadet mowers. You can make money with them, but you ain't gonna make the kind of money that a that a, a real professional landscaper makes. You can be scared to, to to spend your money on equipment. I mean, you you can be scared, but Ray ain't never gonna be scared. I don't roll like that. I know what I am. I know what I can do. And uh, when it comes to this lawn care game, I, might, I ain't the best in the world, and I don't know the most in the world, but I know plenty for me to make really good money to where, you know, so, to where a few hundred dollars is not nothing to me. I mean, my Exmark mowers can make that in, in, in literally no time. Literally. By the time you get up and have your cup of coffee, I done got $100. <laughs> so you keep rolling with your little boy, Cub Cadets, and nothing wrong with that. Oh, don't be mad. Uh, I know I know you're probably going to get mad, but you can't take self-critic. You can't take no criticism. You can't tell nobody. You, you can't listen to others. So don't get mad, little Ron. And you do you, little Ron. And you maybe one day, just one day, if you really try, if you really focus, if you really push hard, you'll be able to do a third of the business that Ray Ray does. Have a third of the skill sets that Ray Ray has. I know you want to be, man. I don't blame you. If I was on the sideline, you know, watching the game from the damn sideline, I'd want the coach to put me in too. Like I told you before, coach ain't putting you in, dog. He ain't putting you in, man. Just keep toting the water bottles. Man, man, y'all don't get it wrong, man. I ain't dogging out Cub Cadet. I'm just keeping it 100, man. You know, uh, I'll put it like this. And you ask yourself this. For real, y'all, ask yourself this. If I have $15,000... Am I going to buy a Cub Cadet mower or am I going to buy a Skag or an x or a Ferris or a Wright? Am I going to, uh, what am I going to do? Me personally, if I'm spending $15,000, $14,000, even $10,000, if I'm spending $10,000 to $15,000 on a lawnmower, it ain't going to be a Cub Cadet. Right or wrong, good or bad, I'm just, they haven't built uh, a reputation to me as of yet. I'm not saying that they can't. I'm not saying that they ain't. I'm not saying that they that they. I'm not saying that they never will. I'm just saying that as of today, they haven't. So, their reputation is not. Is not there yet. I think now they make commercial mowers. And I think they get pretty pricey too. But if I'm going to spend fourteen, thirteen, dollars you know, $15,000 on a lawnmower, it's not going to be a Cub Cadet mower. I don't give a damn what they say about it. I don't care. I'm not going to buy one. That's just me as of right now today. So, uh, I just had to throw that out there, man. Because I don't want people to think that, well, man, Ray thinks that his equipment is too good for, uh, that he's too good for a Cub Cadet or this or that. He's just bragging on, uh, he's got, uh, you know, top-notch equipment, uh, and uh, he's looking down on people that don't. I'm not looking down on any of that, man. I'm not looking down on people that, that, that don't have the kind of equipment I got. What I look down on is coming in the comments trying to tell me uh, uh, what I'm doing wrong when it comes to fixing my own lawnmowers. You know, what am I doing wrong when it comes time when, when it comes to the kind of mowers I got uh, or don't got or, or whatever. See, when you come into comments and you make bold statements, most of the time, 
not all the time, but most of the time, the bold statements are so far from the truth that it's, they're laughable to me, you know. Especially when you come in the comments talking about, I, uh, talking about how your cub cadets are going to run circles around, you know, my old antique machines. I still don't know what machines you're talking about that are antique, but okay. Don't matter. It don't matter. Uh, the best thing that Lil Ron can do is Lil Ron can just stay on the sidelines with your pom-poms watching the straight G's out there on the field. Because you ain't never going to make it to the field like that, man. You need to listen to what a Big Daddy Ray's telling you and maybe one day, if you really try and you really focus, you'll be able to be somewhat successful. Or you can just keep coming in other people's YouTube channel, other people's, certainly not yours, other people's YouTube channel, being and uh, being negative and being Debbie Downer and hating pretty much. Doesn't matter. You're not gonna. It doesn't affect how much money I make or my lifestyle. You know, my lifestyle was what it was before I damn started YouTube. Well, I'm not mad. I, I'm. It's. It's. I might be sounding a little condescending, and maybe I am, because I just feel like, wow, dude, you uh, really reek of not being confident. You really reek of you don't know what the hell's going on when it comes to uh, well, when it comes to my business, I know you don't know what's going on. Just the uh, the dumb statements that you make uh, or ignorant statements that you make uh, in the comments shows me that you are, well, you kind of ate up with dumbass, really, uh, or you don't watch the videos or you just, you know, like to stir the pot a little bit. But in the course of you stirring the pot, you're making yourself look like a real dummy, man. I'm just saying, you know. I'm still trying to figure out what antique mowers I got. You know. But I know this, and I'm going to say this one last time. If I got ten to $15,000 that I'm going to spend on a lawnmower, it's not going to be a Cub Cadet. And I guarantee you, most guys, not everybody, but most guys that have the ability to go out and spend $14,000, $13,000 on a lawnmower, they're not going to buy a Cub Cadet either. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. And, you know, but I'm really nobody. I just run a small little you know, landscaping business down here in the south and minding my own business. Don't want no trouble until I got an idiot coming to comments talking shit. <laughs> Just ignorant, man. Don't show your ignorance, man. Take notes. Don't show it. When you got something sensible to say that makes sense, then okay. But if you got something stupid to say that really is, well, it's straight out false. Not only is it false, but it's laughing false. It's like obviously false. It's like dur false, you know. I don't get it, man. And if you run your business... <laughs> Like you run your comments, well, you're probably a broke dude or headed that way. And you're looking at my videos uh, and can't stand it. Just can't stand it, man. I'm sorry, man. I am who I am and you are who you are. And that's what makes us all unique. I'm no better than the next.
but I'm not going uh, on people's uh, videos and commenting stupid shit either. You know, I don't go into people's uh, YouTube channel and make a comment for all to see that's really an ignorant comment that is obviously not the truth, that is obviously coming from an inexperienced lawn care landscape provider. It's obvious, you know. And it's not obvious to you, of course. Spending three or four hundred dollars on a lawnmower deck to you is a fortune because it takes you forever to make that kind of money with the little cup cadet mowers you got. But to me, that's just in the course of a day. That's just in the course of doing business. That's just in the course of being smart and uh, keeping my expenses down. Every one of my lawnmowers runs. Every one of them. Cut grass good. Every one of them. All four. I can walk around to them right now and we can, and, and I can, I can cut grass on any, 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 any of them. We'll cut any lawn. So I don't know what you're talking about. Again, just showing your ignorance. You know, it's funny to me. <laughs> Man, y'all. But anyway, we had a good day today, man. And, you know, I know I get off on these tangents with these dumbasses coming in the comments, y'all. Uh, I'm grateful for all you guys commenting and grateful for all you guys that subscribe to the channel. And y'all know uh, what I know that y'all know that I know. And y'all know that, they's a, that, that every now and then you got a dumbass uh, wannabe that comes into the comments showing how ignorant he really is. When if he just keep his mouth shut and just watch the videos and not really comment, don't comment, dude, if, unless you got something intelligent to say that makes sense uh, that I'm doing right or doing wrong. I don't mind. Uh, well, I don't want to say I don't mind. Uh, I'm a big boy. I can take criticism, okay? But the criticism's got to make sense, y'all. Come on, man. It's got to make business sense, logical sense. I mean, if it doesn't, then I'm going to call it bullshit. I mean, I am. And I don't, you know, I look in the mirror every day. And I wonder if I could have done this better or done this different or done this or done that or done, you know, every day. I'm no better than anybody else. I'm not. But don't but dude, don't come in the comments showing your dumbassness. <laughs> y'all know what it is. It's Sammy Time Tuesday, y'all. See ya.